Buenas, buenas. Welcome to Music Marketing TV. I'm Kevin Ochoa, and today I'm going to teach you how to create filter sweeps with FL Studio 12. First of all, we want to use a synthesizer that has noise available to it. So we're going to use a 3x oscillator. By default, it has sine waves all turned on. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off oscillator 2 and 3, and we'll use the first oscillator, and we're going to select a noise waveform. So we're going to press this little domino right here. After setting this up, all you want to do is go into the piano roll, select any note because we're working with noise here, and just select around 8 bars, 4 bars, 16 bars, whatever you decide to use. In this case, I choose 8 bars because I want to have enough time to mess with automations. Next up, I want to add a filter. In this case, I use the parametric EQ to, to start filtering stuff because it has 7 bands and that's way more than enough. I'm going to activate this. Now, what I want to do is automate the high, the low pass and the high pass band. So I'm going to create an automation clip. And then I'm going to create an automation clip also for the high pass. Now that we have that done, what we can do is just manipulate the, the low pass. And just as simple as that, we have a down sweep. Of course, we want to make it sound a little bit more professional, a little bit clearer, so we can add some emphasis on certain frequencies. You do that by adding resonance. And that is accomplished by using the bandwidth right here. So what we're going to do is just automate this real quick. And at first, I want it to not be as present as it is. Actually, I want, to I want it to be more present at the beginning than at the end. Okay, that's sounding a lot better. However, we can do more than that. We can add some panning and other effects to make it sound spacier and give it context and a spot in the mix. So I'm going to choose this, the Fruity Panomatic. And basically what this does is just an LFO routed to the left and the right channel. And it just lets you pan things without having to manually go and write uh, left and right, left and right on all your animations. And we see here that there's a, an amount knob and a speed. So what I'm going to want to do is, just as we did in all the other ones, we're going to automate this and the amount. So now what I want to do is make this like a, a down sweep that has a, a quick panning at the beginning and just slow down, makes you relax and feel calmer. So I'm going to increase the elbow speed and also the amount. And let's take a look. Okay, that sounds fantastic. Now, to, to do the opposite, to do uh, an up filter, you just change the band 7 and make it go up. You can even uh, automate band 1 and make it go up as well so that you don't have the lower frequencies still there. And we're going to do the opposite. We're going to increase the speed as we go uh, through time. And also, we're going to increase the amount. And before we have, I don't want that click. So we're going to decrease that and also this. Basically, this is going to let it have a smooth decay. And we're going to have a up sweep and then a, a down sweep. Okay, let's take a look at how you can use this in your own productions. Here I have a track that I've been working on, and if we scroll all the way down here, you'll notice that I have a 3x oscillator section with basically every type of modulation I had in the previous section of this video, except for a few different things. I have a love filter instead of using the parametric EQ, and the reason I did that is because I wanted to split up the bands, and I'll show you that in a second. And at the end, I used a compressor just to make sure that my levels were not peaking in certain areas where I added too much resonance or such. But let's take a listen to the different types of, uh, of effects I did here. Whoops, not that part, right here. All 
All right, let's solo them out. So here's the smaller one. And this longer down lifter. Okay, getting back to the Fruity Love filter. The reason I used the Fruity Love filter was because I wanted to have to have this split right here. You can see it in uh, the Wave Candy. I want to split up the high end and the low end to have to have a different type of vibe in different sections of uh, the song. Because if if I was just using one filter or the other, I would have to use a I would have to use a band pass, I believe, if I had the parametric EQ two. And I just didn't want to do that. So I just went ahead and split up, used a low pass and then a high pass. And then after that, I also used a, a gross beat, basically to sidechain the white noise during the drop. And we check out closer, I didn't activate it till after the first couple notes. So there you have it. That's how I create filter sweeps for my tracks. If you want, you can bounce this out to save yourself some CPU. I don't because I like sound designing to like the last moment of the mix sound. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to Music Marketing TV and have a great day and good luck in your productions.